The Ryonga Dairy Farm in Uganda's western city of Barara has existed for generations. The family started off with the traditional long-horned Ankole cattle before moving on to the exotic breed to produce small milk. The herd now numbers in hundreds. There was a presidential initiative of enriching homesteads mm -hmm. and making sure that every family has milk, ensuring production and productivity. Mm -hmm. So now we incorporated, we brought in the Frisian cows, the hybrid cows. We started to cross them way back in the 90s. Now we reached at a level where we have a very good Frisian cross. The cows graze freely, but this puts the herd at risk of tick infestation. Ticks thrive in wet conditions and are more active in grassy environments and can cause serious diseases and even death of the animal. The Ryongas use chemicals for spraying their animals, which scientists say are harmful to humans and the environment. We have a very big challenge. These are Frisian cows. These are not local cows. Their immunity is a bit low compared to our local longhorned and collie cows. That is why most farmers have now been forced to cross them with the boran, with the ankole. We face a very big challenge of disease. Our drugs are still substandard and very expensive at the same time. Now a new vaccine produced by scientists from the National Agriculture Research Organization will help farmers like the Ryongas to manage their livestock in a tick-free environment. The new vaccine is an affordable and sustainable way of controlling ticks in cattle compared to chemicals that require farmers to spray at least twice a week. This vaccine is applied only after every six months. Work on the vaccine started in 2005 and is now in its final approval stages before commercial production later this year. The drug was developed from proteins found in indigenous sticks and is said to be over 80% effective. It is going to reduce the dependency uh, on chemical acaricide for control of ticks, which uh, have proved to be less effective for having been used for several years. The anti-tick vaccine will be sold at about a dollar and a half per dose, much lower than what's charged for a similar dose of the chemical products. Eliminating ticks will not only keep livestock healthy, but also improve milk production and livelihoods of millions of farmers across the country. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.